Hi there, and welcome to today's press up. Um, what we're going to do last time and in the last few press ups, we've been looking at um, some of these things down here in settings. Um, so let's just continue stepping through those, I think, today. Uh, so we looked at the general writing reading settings and we looked at permalinks, which I'll come back to. Let's just dive into discussion settings. Um, and so this is all about whether or not people can comment on your site and uh, some things that happen if people link to uh, posts or link to your site. Um, so uh, let's deal with comments. Now let's deal with those other things first. So um, these first two settings, um, attempt to notify any blogs linked to from the article and allow link notifications from other blogs, brackets, pingbacks and trackbacks. Um, so these are things which are, in my opinion, a little bit out of date. Um, and aren't used an awful lot anymore. But when people were in the early days of blogging and um, they were linking from one blog to another or posting a link in my blog to someone else's blog, for example, um, this functionality allowed uh, my blog to send a notification to the blog that I was linking to um, to say that I had created a link to it. Um, so this is great if you've got a network of people all kind of discussing things and they want to know when they get mentioned by each other. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for a typical website setup, um, this isn't really relevant at all. And um, there are other tools which will allow you to work out who is linking to your site and from where. Um, so uh, uh, these are on by default. I think if you turn them off, then there's probably no issue. Um, with that and you probably won't even notice that those things aren't happening. The third option is a little bit more important uh, and it says allow people to post comments on new articles. Um, so again, um, because when you install WordPress out of the box it kind of assumes that you're going to use it for blogging, comments are enabled by default and uh, that only in most cases applies to posts but some themes will also apply that logic to pages as well. Um, so if you're setting up a website and you're not really into having discussion and comments on your post, then you may also want to turn that off as well. Um, if that is turned on, then there are a load of other settings which you can read through here and you can get help on in the little menu up at the top. Um, that will help explain um, some of those settings. Uh, yeah, but if you want to dive into comments, I would suggest that that's another, another topic. Um, there's some email settings so you can get notified when comments get posted and comments are held for moderation. That's a really good idea because you will inevitably get spam comments that you will want to uh, eliminate and not actually have published. Um, and then there are some other security things here so you can set comments to be manually approved or um, as a kind of halfway house you can allow an author to uh, comment if they have previously had an approved comment and that's the default setting so that's all fine. There are then some comment moderation um, settings, so you can choose uh, words that you don't want to be published um, and things like that. So just read through those settings, hopefully they will make sense. You can then also choose to show avatars for people and for comments uh, or not. And if people don't have an avatar, which is their little profile picture, then you can choose from a set of, of defaults here and you can choose to rate them. But generally all of the standard settings are pretty fine so we'll just save that leave that as it is um, and then we'll just have a really quick look in media as it's the last screen so this is these settings apply because when you upload an image to wordpress wordpress automatically creates uh, several different um, copies of that image at different sizes so if i upload an image that's 2000 pixels wide and 1700 pixels tall um, then it will also create a thumbnail which is 150 by 150, a medium sized image which is 300 by 300 and a large size image which is a maximum of 1024 by 1024. Um, the, the medium size one, this figure constrains the largest uh, side of the image um, so you'll still get the whole image. With this thumbnail size you can actually choose to crop it to a square um, which it will do unintelligently or just chop the sides or the top and bottom off depending on which orientation you've got and it'll always chop it down to a 150 by 150 square uh, and this setting is pretty good upload organize uploads into month and year based folders so a load more settings there hopefully they all make sense uh, feel free to play around and read about them